Hello everybody and welcome back to my Phoenix Wright Basic Journey playthrough. Where last time we've been dealing with Angel Star's testimony, and man has it been a minefield, but... Anyway, here's the basic idea. Angel Star says she saw, uh... She saw the... Lana stab the victim. The vic- she didn't actually see him stab him. Because she doesn't have proof of the stabbing. She has weirdly been about that there's apparently this scar for someone. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. But in the photo, Lana doesn't have a scarf. She only has an overcoat. The fun part is, is that she's attempting to say she quickly caught up to her. And I know that's not the case. You say quickly? Are you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. But the chain link fence. Maybe I can crush her from what we go. Yeah, I'll fucking crush her. I'd like to see this floor plans just to be safe. The lunch on car was. Oh, she was a visitor. The bus she was parked in. Uh, B-block. So you witnessed the murder from here? That would make for about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Yeah, yes, that's right. But there's a chain link fence in front of you. They went over it. No, you didn't. Amazing, the Kafka Queen, the lunch lady athlete. It would have taken her a little time to climb up the fence. So she couldn't have gone uh, to my sister that fast. Yeah, the fence was about nine feet tall, uh, high, too. How did this side not get away? That's a very good question. I thought it was up to the ceiling, but. <sighs> she mentioned the muffin? What exactly did she say? Remember exactly? I would have told you my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, I heard her saying the word muffin. <laughs> Just that one moment. So, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Phone? She can't mean... Ask further, yeah. By phone, do you mean... This cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like a, s a fucking salmon heading. I fucking salmon salmon. Yeah. How the fuck? Hey Google. How do you say salmon? Was it? Hey Google. Could you repeat that? That wasn't what I was trying to do! Hey Google! How do you say salmon? Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google! How do you say salmon? That's pronounced salmon. Salmon, sorry. I don't know. Anyway. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. No, no, no. The court doesn't see your star. She prosecuted first attempt to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. In the car. There's an emergency phone on the wall. <laughs> that is that order. But she used her cell phone. How the fuck would she not just use her cell phone then? Indeed. The emergency's uh, phone was out order that day. It still is. Yeah, good witnessing, witness. 
good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. Things I do to please this rookie defense. Yep, okay. It wasn't. I saw it all. How she tried to use the phone and had to use it all instead. Just to sight my hand and ran. It was a terrible uh, sight to see, like a doll for lawn on a uh, pate of four grass. Huh? She even kicked over an oil drum. Oil drum yeah. There was an oil drum lying on the scene of the crime, but it's strange. Hmm? What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she just run the other way? The other ah, the parking lot entrance. Right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run away from behind the partition to the oil drums. Excellent. More mysteries. Wish that we could solve them. We could solve a few before finding one of them. So Miss Sky tried to run. Sorry, my sister is so suspicious. Right? Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. I know, but. Where's this partition on the plan, uh, plan fours? Plan four plan. I'm sure that she, she means this wall next to the top. That's right. There's a wall there about six feet high. She's obviously trying to hide herself. It's quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. What did you do then? That's not right. Say this one more time, so listen closely, rookies. Uh, she prosecutor stabbed the victim, then ran behind the partition. She, then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of the She pulled out her own cell phone out of her pocket. During that time, he climbed over the fence, the chain fence, the chain link fence. Then, when I boldly grabbed her arm, she prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? 
I mean, if you say she was right there. There we go, finally, fucking hell. Miss Star, or Miss Star, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Sky Lynn. Objection! Uh, Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarried by personal bias. Well, who would have thought that my knight in shining armor, prosecutor, who would be my knight in shining armor? Yeah. Her shit's not biased as she goes and gives you shit. You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out of- Are you trying to fucking get yourself kicked out of court? Cause you just fucking admitted that your shit's biased. <sighs> well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction within your, with the testimony. How do you explain this? Make you cough it all up. Ahem, have a look, look at the floor plan. You said the witness, you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Guy making that phone call. I believe you saw, see what I'm getting at. An emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in block B block, you couldn't have seen it. What? Hold on, hold on. What is the meaning of this? It's simply wrong. She was not she's not coughing up one, she's coughing up wide. Objection! That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counter attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. I tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it. Pointless to lie, I see. But say the witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It would mean Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. Different location. Now that's a pointless lie if I've ever heard. Before you call my life. Please at least tell, let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? Ah, uh, that is actually a good point. How did she get the picture? The testimony you heard of in, uh, went in one direction. The place where Mr. Star witnessed this crime was here. Fucking just A, yeah. Security guard. Indeed, the security guard room is in the underground uh, parking lot. It is well positioned. It is built on the second floor, so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why? There are so many other places where she could have seen the phone. Now in this case, Your Honor, the witness not being a part of the prosecution office couldn't park in uh, A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime, in the back of the partition, is here. Remembering your testimony, you said 
You brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? How many years ago have I... How many years have I been getting the better of me? Think the terrorists would be able to be tough. Today, a man has gotten the better of Angel Star. <laughs> Order, order, order. Witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I will do what I must to make sure justice prevails. Guilty? I'm talking about this guy. Um, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make any sense. Huh? You could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. Photograph does all. It was the defendant who was stabbed who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. Well, no, because the photograph has the chain link. Objection! Still stands up. I'm too strong for my own shit. Fucking hell. Well, I prefer the metal ones. Problem is I gotta wash the metal ones. Alright. I disagree, Mr. Edward. What? The witness is found to be lying. They're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that with a. She wouldn't risk uh, that without good reason. So then, tell us her reason. What her reason was, Mister Wright? Huh? Me? Who else? Mister Wright, let's review what we know. The star witnessed the crime from the security guard position. But she lied and said she saw from the It must have been a vital difference, but what? It would change. Go a few the time. The angle of which she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Um, well... Security guard station is on the second floor, and um, we have sort of a th more 3D view of the crime. This is important. Why? Oh, I'll see it through. I know it. It's in lighting. It's a difference in lighting. Lighting? What does that mean? Well, it means, uh... Oh my fucking god. Her distance. Change the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Objection! My condolences, Mr. Ray. But one look at the floor hunts are quite clear. The distance between the uh, scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Objection! What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. She wouldn't have been able to immediately apprehend. The start, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now how long did that take? Or how, uh, how long did it take you to go from the here? A crime before you rush in the sky. Well, what was that? You. Yes? You ordered the squid meals, right? Oh, I mean, lunches have gone from low to metal. I was bringing a pea baby and jade lunch with my fresh. with fresh poison berry jam for my boyfriend. Poison berry for the boyfriend. But he wasn't in the station, so he waited. 
they witnessed the crime in the glass walled station. Well, I knew what I was doing. I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. So then where the fuck did you go? I'm sorry, what? So you're... That's why I had to go through the visitor park and... Quite a detour. That's also a lot of time and it doesn't... Probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of crime. Five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. It was that... It was the woman over in the defense's chair who stabbed her. I know it. I have photographic proof evidence. Wow. I swear at my finest flights of spork. Well, I just broke it, so... You have a point. And the spork is a wonderful adventure. If it doesn't fucking break on me. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely! Oh. That's right, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Objection! Five minutes between the witness, uh, between witnessing the murder and the arrest, think about it. You couldn't make pasta in that moment. If you like it all dente. I got lunch boxes that tie pastas into knots. For A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. If you're a criminal, what would you do with five minutes around? Uh, well, uh, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get the wrong idea, I didn't kill anyone. If you have the instinct of a killer, you would run. But this time was different. The sky dwindled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No cr uh, true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness is a grudge against the defendant and the blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth is the next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that game shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I'm afraid that the court of Queen has been dethroned, and with that the court is adjourned. Hold it. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels ready. That's when she tried to foist off from me. Prefer not to take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else this way? I might be able to save you? You have a decisive evidence. Oh, what was that? Is that another one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Mr. Stop. Ah. Uh, is this a jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo! A triple decker! Out of deference to the witness determination, I'll allow this one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunchman model, you will, uh, says you won't be disappointed. I'm just gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time. Fucking hell! I should have mentioned those five minutes uh, when I wasn't looking at the crimes. And now, the match of the victim's shoes. Did I not? No, you didn't. The type of blood were found on the shoe. One, of course, was the victim's, and the other blood type matched the that of the defendant. The shoe proves that his father is dead. What does this prove? What? There was blood on the fountain on that shoe. Try lunch land for all your lunch and decisive evidence. I don't even know what the fuck to make of it. Witness, what is the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with my evidence, Mr. Edgeway. That's why I took the liberty of investigating myself. And you had blood tests performed. 
didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends and forensics. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence. The one, no evidence sh uh, shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edward sure is celebra uh, celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edward. Don't forget, I used to be a detective, as I mentioned previously. This shoe has already been tested by a member of the uh, private department. And as you can see, it was approved by the police department. As of today, I even the general public can produce official uh, evidence, Mr. Edward. Uh, is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. You should at least study some of the evidence like really. The prosecution's complaint notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence. However, it seems you have yet another account against you. You need to ensure that the properly or the guilty are properly judged. Victim shoe added to the court record. Fucking hell, white enamel shoe bears traces of blood from uh, Goodman and Lana Scott. God damn, this fucking trial will not end. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. <sighs> Should have mentioned those five minutes ago. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I was just wanting people to look at the results. The results. How many times do you have to say this? I said the chief the separate. My eyes compared to that. Five minutes blank means nothing. Why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most unfair. And why the value lied as possible? Falsified evidence. Range testimony is erased. Plain evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. He's not fighting against you, he's fighting for you! When the suspect is admitting she did it? False testimony is the most despicable, uh, despicable crime of all in this town. You mean like half the fucking cases? No, all of the fucking cases we've done so far. Well, let's just get this over with. He fell in his shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and never fed the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill trained pooch, you snuck off the police. I was afraid someone else would, uh, someone would erase the chief prosecutor's shoe. And the shoe would my, was my secret weapon in the first of all. See this fashion old basket I have here? Carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Now tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found in the uh, That's all of it. So you brought it to the forensic department. If you're going to submit something as evidence, unfortunately, you should it. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by forensic evidence. She got away with a little group because she used to be distracted. The shoe doesn't appear to have blood stains on it, so well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belongs to the victim, the good shoe. As I said, there are two types of blood found on the shoe. Why the fuck is there two types? And at blood time, why? You can't say for sure the blood belongs to the blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests. What? Well, speak up. Uh, well, fucking blood types comes in four types, A, B, and O, and A, A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Actually, we can differentiate between million types with all the blood tests out there, which means that we can prove uh, more or less narrow any sample of the blood down to just one person, or so I've heard. It's pretty specific. If I had a little bit more time, I would have gotten the DNA test results, but they said they were very little doubt it could be anyone but the same disguise. No, so the suspect's blood was found in the victim's shoe. That ties it directly to the death of Jack Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. Uh, I don't. 
can't let the seven go through with a fight. Go to the peppered fish goods, right? Some like it hot, Mr. Right? Some like the client cheese and hot enough water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Right? Do you or do not? Don't you have a problem with shoe? I, mean, I do a problem. This is critical. I mean, there's a problem with the good shoe. Yeah, fucking, I don't know why the fuck this matters. One, we don't know. There is a problem. I'm not imagining things. I say there's more one, uh, there is more one critical problem with this evidence of clear contradiction. That gleaming in your eye, you're still young. I give you a peppered fish gut. You couldn't take the heat, could you? Blah, 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 blah. So hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is the contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this, with the evidence. <sighs> oh, you're just straight up not you. It's the hole! Take that! I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or there will be blood on the bottom of my shoe. Well, indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. Makes sense, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradicted with the blood of his shoe? That's not his shoe, that's her shoe! Shoes. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Not that the bottom of the shoe foot is covered in blood. Then, isn't that strange? Why would, weren't there any blood, bloody footprints found by the scene of crime? Aha! As you can see, there's no traces of any foot, such footmarks at the scene of crime. That contradicts your claim, but. Plus, she's not wearing the same shoes! picture only shows part of the floor, so there could be bloody footprints. If not even wearing the same shoes, then where would they be, Miss Edgeworth? Because, if you check the scene, we found nothing of the sort. Again, first off, those aren't even her shoes in the picture. Order, order. Well, witness. What, huh? I, uh... We're gone, Mr. Wright. But, it's true that the lack of the footprint is a kind of picture, but... We have to ask why it wasn't a footprint. Oh, well, that's true. There ha has to be a reason why there wasn't a proof. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Hey, I don't know what, uh, why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? Because there was no murder committed there. I see. Now I get it. It what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? In fact, when she told us what happened to the sister. The prosecutor tried to resist, but in vain. She knocked at my hand aside, kicked over an organ. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly, or predator, this one, a little bit more than real. I thought that was a strange thing for a normal cool-headed chief to do. I'm kidding. Now witness. Allow me to ask one simple question. Oh, no. it was a dentist. Oh, that, um... I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Wright. Actually. Though, apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness, well, was the old drum empty. The old drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor. It was brimming with water. Okay, fucking I get it. It got washed away. What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason... I, uh, you don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason, one reason only. To erase the blood stains, it would become evidence against her. I, uh, I don't know. Tie up things quite nicely. No, it doesn't. Blood stain left on the... She doesn't even wear the same shoes! Jesus Christ, it was murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the tail. Why, that's the prosecutor specially raising evidence. 
That reminds me, Miss Guy's right hand was hurt. Did she say she cut herself and she stabbed her? Wouldn't there be blood on the knife that is hers as well? So that's when my sister got- No, because that's not her shoe! She's not wearing fucking white shoes! She's wearing black shoes in the fucking thing! Well, I see no reason for going to try- Mr. Wright, do something, please. What can I do? Your sister has commenced the crime and she tried to conceal it, but... Enough. There is no need for further debate. Your, uh, the verdict you're under very well, but Angel Star is on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant in the sky, Alana Sky. Held it. How the fuck are you- Oh, it's Emma. Can you fucking get away, fly? What did you just say, huh, me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well, I thought you had your fill of it, and here you demand your second failing. Uh, another lunchbox caught evidence. Wait, witness, don't tell me of something else. Objection! Fucking, yeah, the time for the deliberations is past. Any further comments, you need to be held in court. Yeah, court. Your threats don't scare me, let's scare the cops. Queen. Look at this. They're his shoes. Photograph ahead in case anyone had the gall to suggest the white shoes didn't belong to the victim. We didn't say it. Hmm, I see no room for error for it. What's that? So wait, what? Look at the asphalt in this picture. Hey, it's clearly wet. This is the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Only after the murder was sent. Watch for it. Sorry, Mr. Wright, I guess I just couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I know from this case from the beginning. And it seems that this is what your sister wanted to do. Again, didn't they fucking say that this is the fucking killer's shoes? I thought this idea was this is the killer's shoes. I'm sorry, Mia. <sighs> right, wet or not, don't be so quick to throw in the towel. What? yourself off the asphalt and take another good look. Don't give up, not until the bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well, this time I'd like to declare it ready for good. Objection! Yep. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. The trial isn't over until we give another each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest bit of this evidence? Yeah, I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we're this, we've come this far, we can give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. This photo. Wait, is that the fucking thing she was talking about, the muffler? Take that! The problem in this photograph is here. What's this? It's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait a moment, Mr. Edgeworth, Your Honor. You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of muffler or scarf or any kind of... Photograph. A muffler is also part of a car and a motorcycle. Your Honor, I th just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. It's the suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler. Hmm, so what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? What does that do with this case? We don't know what the fuck it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Objection! Sorry, Miss Starr, but it was not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Even I'm fucking lost, but okay, let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth. Is it because it's not fucking wet? Is that why? I fucking swear. Well, Your Honor, how do you feel about that? I don't feel... I have this kind of headache. No, no, I mean... 
What do you think about the... I don't even know where the fuck it last saved. Oh, uh, There's a problem. Get as close as possible so I don't have to fucking trudge through so much more bullshit. Get me there. 
Okay, thank you. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I presented. Do we not have evidence? Come on! Oh, I'm an idiot. It literally- Fuck you. Miss Star, I call with your testimony for the court. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffin. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. You heard mentioned. It's actually this exhaust box. If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. I you I I yarg. Well, it seems we have to smell the procedures. So sus! Myself wondering about that piece of cloth. We have any questions on that show and hear what we do but here we do a disservice to the law. And the car the car is here, so you are you are wrong. We're gonna wait until we have It's all agreed. Eh fuck it, why not? I suppose so. Phew, that was close, but we made it was for now. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. Why a 30 minute recess? Okay, well, I guess we're not done with that, but I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you for tuning in all the jets. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and see this video. Other than that, have a great day.